Back, it will be a meeting of two African kings. Lesotho King Leti III has welcomed Swaziland's uh, King Mswati III to the royal village ahead of celebrations to mark the 50th independence, uh, 50th uh, independence year of the Mountain Kingdom tomorrow. King Leti will lead celebrations at the Setsotso Stadium in Lesotho's capital, Masteru, to also be attended by Zimbabwean President Robert Mugabe and Botswanan President Ian Kama. Well, let's find out a bit more. We're now joined by Ntakwana Gatane, our uh, reporter uh, of the Basutu. Ntakwana, how, how do the Basutu view uh, the ruling family and, and this celebration? Well, in, in particular reference to the royal family, many people in this country see the royal family as a unifying factor, uh, especially because of the upheavals that the country has been going through all the way since 1966 when it gained independence up to today. I mean, we saw in 1970 a coup in the country. We saw another coup in 1986. We saw a long, long uh, dictatorship from 1970 to 1986. We saw military rule from 1986 up to 1993 and other upheavals, including the 1998 riots and parties breaking down and so on and so forth. And throughout these political upheavals, the people see the royal family as the one factor that has been unifying the people. But in terms of the celebration itself, again, a mixed bag from people who see the country not having moved as far forward as they would have liked it to, economically specifically. You know that a lot of Basutu still go to South Africa to look for jobs. And so when we speak to a lot of the people, they say, look, uh, it's a good thing to celebrate that we are independent and we are governing ourselves, but we don't really have anything to show, and that is good uh, for the people uh, at large. Francis? How, how big will the celebration be? Will we see Lesotho uh, come to a standstill tomorrow? Well, uh, according to the Minister of Home Affairs, which has been organizing this event, that's what we can expect, especially at the Sototo Stadium, the main venue of the celebrations in the capital, Maseru. What I can tell you now is that when you drive around Maseru, the stadium is well lit. Uh, when you go in, you can see that preparations are underway there. And also on the streets of Maseru, you see flags uh, flying. You see the flags of countries that will be represented, as you said. Uh, the king of Swaziland is here. The president of Botswana is expected to arrive tomorrow. The president of Zimbabwe has already arrived. And countries like China will have a special envoy here in Lesotho. And South Africa will be represented by the minister and the presidency, Jeff Khadebe. So that's what you see. And so we are awaiting tomorrow to see exactly what will happen and if the stadium, as you say, will come to a stand. So, Francis? Uh, final question, and Takwana. Uh, this should be a really interesting gathering, shouldn't it? We've got African leaders there. Um, we've got the Botswana president, uh, Ukama, who recently criticized President Robert Mugabe. Uh, has there been any talk of, of possible uh, ructions with, between these two men? Well, uh, some people who have been commenting on social media said maybe the best thing that Lesotho should do is make sure that the two leaders don't sit, don't sit next to one another. But um, let's hope that uh, they will respect Lesotho's celebrations and at least let this pass and enjoy themselves as we hope they will. But um, yes, uh, Lesotho has been uh, quite instrumental on both the SADAC front and uh, the, the AU front, and Lesotho has been on the agenda uh, of uh, South Africa, the Southern African Development Community. And both men during their tenures, both President Mugabe and President Khama, in their capacities as chairpersons of uh, the organ, had to deal with issues in Lesotho. But, uh, so let's hope that that's what they will focus on, uh, that a Lesotho, that come into a Lesotho that is celebrating as opposed to a Lesotho that they have had to uh, quell uh, unrest in, in the past. Frankly. All right, we'll look at the seating plans tomorrow. Thank you very much. Uh, the SABC's Dakwana Ngatane.